Hi guys, it is Elisa here, or The Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you, I hope you're having a wonderful one. If you're new to my channel, first off, welcome, I'm happy you found me. I hope you would consider subscribing, and stick around for all things diamond painting, and if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I have another Diamond Art Club first look for you guys today. This was a recent release last weekend. It didn't arrive in time for a sneak peek, so here we are doing a first look. This is an absolutely gorgeous image and I'm so excited to get into it. First off, big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this to share with you guys. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and you are going to be making your very first purchase, I do have a discount code that you are welcome to use. It's my name. A-L-Y-S-A-1-5 and that saves you 15% off your very first order. I may make a small commission and that goes right back into the channel. I thank you in advance if you decide to use that code. The kit I have to share with you today is called Winifred by Claudia McKinney. It is going to measure 36.6 by 27.6 inches or 92.8 centimeters by 69.9 centimeters. This is a large size diamond painting. It is also going to be a square diamond painting. If we turn this on the side, we have some extra details here. We are gonna have 55 colors, two AB, three fairy dust diamonds and a total of 104,813 diamonds. On the back of our box here we have some instructions on how diamond painting works. We also have a list of what to expect inside this box and then the usual disclaimers here. Without further ado, let's get into this kit. Inside the box we have this insert that comes out and makes it more sturdy in shipping. We have a toolkit. We have our little brochure, we have our big diamond painting here, and we have something extra in this one. Let me just move this aside. We have one of the treasure quest cards. So these are special collectible cards that are coming in the new diamond painting kits these days. They have a holographic image on the front. As you can see, they have the title of the artwork, the artist, and the size dimensions. On the back it says trading card, and here is a scratch off portion. There is a unique code under there that you can use on the website. The goal is to collect a variety of different types of these cards. There are bronze, silver, gold, and black. This one is a silver. You can tell by this uh, holographic outline here. Different cards have different values and you can collect them to redeem for certain perks, which I'll post on the screen now. Diamond Art Club's toolkit here. Let's open it and take a quick look. It does come with a diamond painting tray, which we'll see here, a diamond painting pen, some baggies, and some extra things inside the tray. This is the diamond painting tray. It comes with a lid that slides right off and a removable stopper. It also comes with putty that you can use, red wax as well, and two multi-placers, a single placer and a seven placer. We also get the new twist and pick pen. This lid kind of wiggles and pulls off. Sometimes it can feel quite stuck on there. There is putty loaded into this pen. It is refillable as well. All you do is twist it clockwise to get the putty to come out the tip of the pen, and that's the single placer there. You can add the extra putty into the multi-placer here, or you can switch this four placer for the seven placer that was inside of the tray. You can also take the putty out of this and fill it with red wax if you really like the red wax. You also get the bag of baggies. That's helpful if you have any leftover diamonds. Let me put this back and let's get into the little brochure. So we're here we have the brochure, it says thank you for your purchase. On this side they do have a QR code that will take you to their Facebook group. That is a really good resource for all things Diamond Art Club. They also have their social medias down here at the bottom. Inside we do have our sticker sheet. And then inside this we do have step-by-step -step instructions. We do have a list of what to expect inside of the kit. And on this side we have a list of tips and tricks for diamond painting. Here is our sticker sheet. Each of these individual parts of the sticker sheet, the diamond, diamond art club, and the name of the artwork and the artist are individual stickers you can peel off. In the middle, we have our sticker labels for our diamond colors. This kit has 55 colors. And we have three fairy dust and two AB. In this kit, the ABs are at the top here of the list. Anything under 150 is going to be an AB. In newer kits, they are starting to add them at the bottom here with uh, AB and the DMC number. So you might see both in a variety of sneak peeks. 
Here we have um, a place to write your start and end date. So that is a sticker. We have the original artwork here, which is a sticker. And then we have the stats down here, which is also a sticker. You can take all of those stickers off and place them in your logbook. All of the sticker labels here are individually cut and peelable, so you can just peel and stick onto your diamond painting containers. Let's get into the diamond painting. It comes in a nice dust sleeve that is resealable. Oh nice, this has the new perforated cover, which I will show you in a bit here. Let me just move the diamonds to the side. Now this diamond painting is going to be quite large. I'm actually going to roll it backwards so it lies a little bit flatter here. Because this is a poured glue canvas and high quality, you can roll it backwards. It just helps it lie a little bit flatter, a little bit faster, which helps in these kind of unboxing videos. You can also do this if you'd like to work on your diamond painting right away and just want it to lie a little bit flatter for you. It's not going to ruin the canvas at all. You can see here that the perforated cover now comes with dotted lines so it is easy to see the perforations. Now I am not going to be able to get all of this in frame, let's go the other way, but I will do my best to show you every part of the canvas. At the top here we have Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. All of the edges are poked and scalloped, that helps prevent any kind of fraying. Over here in the top left corner we do have the legend on the canvas there. Look at this beautiful image and the colors in this canvas are absolutely gorgeous. I am seeing lots of areas for line blocking so you can use your multi-placer. That means this kit is going to go by pretty quickly. We have the beautiful witch front and center here. Over on this side we have some more fall leaves. Over on the bottom left we do have some information down here. We have a thumbnail of the original artwork and then we have the model number of the canvas and the name of the canvas. We have the size dimensions again and then the copyright of the artist Claudia McKinney and Diamond Art Club. That means this artwork is legally licensed. The artist has not only given her permission for the use of this artwork, but she's also being fairly compensated. We have some gorgeous pumpkins in this corner down here. This is an absolute gorgeous diamond painting. I love seeing all of the line blocking. There's lots of areas of, I'm going to call it color blocking. You definitely can use your multi-placer for a lot of this canvas. We have some beautiful fall flowers and leaves here. And then on this side of the canvas, we have another gorgeous pumpkin. And then over here we have another legend on the bottom right. We also have a reminder that as long as we are the original purchaser of our canvas, we do have a lifetime warranty. There's also the email for support here. If you have any problems with your canvas or any questions, you can fire off an email there. And then in the middle here at the bottom, let me just manipulate this a little bit. And then in the middle here, we do have a discount code. Take 10 for 10% off your order. And then there's also the uh, social medias of the Diamond Art Club. One thing I have noticed is this perforated cover, it almost feels even thicker than it did last time I did an unboxing. That's really nice to see. I really like working with a thicker cover. If we pull this back, you definitely cannot really see this in this diamond painting, but let me zoom in. Maybe it will pick it up. There is a very faint line you can see along here of that dotted line on the perforated cover. Now that is just the ink that transferred from the uh, plastic cover. Diamond Art Club has already fixed this issue. We may see this in some kits in the near future, but they have already fixed it and it will not be a problem going forward because this is a square diamond kit. It, you're not going to notice it anyway when you put the diamonds down. They've also said that they have tested a round kit and you can't notice it with rounds either. So it's just a cosmetic issue, but once you get the diamonds down, you're not going to notice anything at all. So I don't think it's anything to be worried about. And they've already fixed it, which is great. Here we have the bag of diamonds. We have lots of beautiful fall colors here. This bag does come with a label on it, so if you do separate your diamonds from your canvas, you can easily match them up. Comes with the model number of the canvas and the name of the canvas. Let me fast forward through the crinkle and we'll take a look at the diamond. I am gonna pull the diamonds through the camera so you can take a look and we will try and find the special diamonds. I do see one already right here. This is one of the fairy dust colors, Z3854. It has a very shiny coating on the top side there that gives a sparkly finish. We have lots of different fall colors in this strip of diamonds. 
in the entire diamond painting, I would say. Here is another special diamond. We have 141. This is an AB diamond. It has a different shiny coating on the top of it that makes it shine a little bit brighter than those fairy dust diamonds. As you can see, this is the small strip of diamonds that I grabbed first. And then we have the bigger bags here. That red is so vibrant. We've got a purple, we've got some browns. Here's another very vibrant red, a little darker red. We've got a bit of a purple, lots more browns here and some grays. Here we have another fairy dust. There's quite a bit of this one. This is Z743, so it's a yellow, quite a bit of that. Three bags of 3371. We've got beautiful 741. Oh wow, and we have two ABs here in this yellow color, 129. This painting is really going to sparkle. We have four bags of 310, so that's not bad at all. One five four is one of my favorite DMCs. We have three bags of that, three bags of seven forty as well. This six thousand DMC number that is a color that is exclusive to Diamond Art Club. It doesn't have any fancy finish on it. It's just a color that is exclusive to Diamond Art Club. Here we have another furry dust. This one is, just let it focus there, Z336. It's a, a dark navy blue. And then we have some more 742. Let's take a look at where the special diamonds go. So first we have, as a reminder, this dark blue fairy dust. We have the bright yellow ABs here. We have this yellow fairy dust. We have this kind of orangey brownie fairy dust. And we have the white AB here, just a little bit of that one. So we'll do the ABs first. So there's the pale yellow, which we had two full bags of, and then the white one, which we don't have many of. So I'm seeing that pale yellow all in, let me zoom out again, in the entire, I'm going to call it the sun because <laughs> it is yellow um, back here. So this entire light color area surrounding the witch here is all AB, that yellow AB. I'm also seeing some of the yellow AB sprinkled in some of the leaves. So this leaf over here has some. There's also little white dots in the background. Those are the white AB, and that kind of goes down throughout the painting. This leaf over here has a little bit of the yellow AB. This leaf has more yellow AB here. Let me see about the bottom of the canvas. Do we have any in the pumpkins? We do. So in, let me just manipulate this, it's so darn big. In this pumpkin, we have some of the yellow AB in his eyes. We have the white AB in his mouth. And then this pumpkin on the far left, we have some white AB in his mouth and white AB in his eyes. Over here in this pumpkin, we have a little bit of yellow AB here. Otherwise, that is it for the ABs. Now we have some fairy dust. So we had a dark blue a yellow and an orange. So where is that dark blue? I have a feeling, yeah, it's in her dress. So some of these lines that you're seeing, the lighter color lines are gonna be that dark blue fairy dust. That's gonna look really pretty. And that extends all the way up into the top of her dress as well. It's even in some of her hat in the top here. You can see that blue there. There is some of that there. There is some extending into the background as well up through here of that blue fairy dust and a little bit over here as well. In this pumpkin, we have some of the light yellow fairy dust. I'm not seeing the orange one in here. Just taking a look in the different leaves as we go through this canvas. We do have some of the yellow fairy dust in the pumpkin as well, in his smile and his eyes and his nose. Same with this pumpkin in the smile, nose and eyes, we have the yellow fairy dust. I haven't yet seen that orange fairy dust anywhere. Maybe it's at the top of the canvas. 
Oh, there, I do see some starting in this part here. I am seeing more of the yellow fairy dust in the yellow in this background here. Kind of extends all the way up and around that moon, uh, sun, actually. So that's going to be really sparkly. Some of the leaves also have the uh, fairy dust. Let me just pull this like this. We do have some in this leaf. We have some in this leaf as well. I am seeing more yellow fairy dust, as I said, all the way around this sun. We do have some of the orange fairy dust sprinkled in around there as well. And then some of the leaves on this side, we do have some of that yellow fairy dust as well. So that is it for the special diamonds of this canvas. This canvas is absolutely beautiful. As I said, there is a fair bit of line blocking in here. That means you're going to be able to use your multi-placer and whip through this canvas actually fairly quickly. It does have the lines on the perforated cover so you can really see uh, where the perforations end, which is nice to see. They are a little bit off to the side of the perforations by the look of it. It looks like they are the same size squares though, just from a glance. Let me know if you picked up this diamond painting on release or if you were waiting for the first look. I hope I was able to give you a good view of the canvas. It has gorgeous colors in it. It's going to work out very beautifully. I can't wait to see it finished. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this year, but I will definitely get to it. If you made it to the end of this video, why not leave me a little diamond emoji? If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free to do so. You can also push that notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. I also have channel memberships open if you are interested. There is a link to that in my video description. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. And until next time, happy diamond painting, you guys. Bye.